All right, I'm here again with my play date. In fact, let me take off my little case. So it's nice and easy to do. Love that. Um, I finally got a play date. Now, uh, this is still a demo video. There, this is a demo for the play date. Now, the annoying thing is I already did this video once. I did two runs of this game, uh, uploaded it to YouTube, added all of the details, set it to release. Then I just thought, ah, I'm just going to click into it. Just make sure the video is okay and there was no audio from my microphone so that was fun that was an hour of my life um but what annoys me most about that um happening things like that is that's supposed to be my first impression um and now you don't have that <laughs> what you're gonna have here is my second impression um i've already played through the demo once and failed then i played through it again once and succeeded I uh, really, really enjoyed myself, but yeah, this isn't, you know, when I do these streams or these videos, they are supposed to be my first impression, and I'm sorry that you don't get to see that, but I'm sure we can go over some of the things that I, I did notice. So this is my play date. You can see I've only got a few of the season one games. I only got it recently. In fact, I had to go pick it up from a friend because they don't ship it to Mexico. Fortunately, she was having a wedding in Las Vegas and we were going. So I shipped it to her house and she was very uh, kind enough to bring it to her own wedding and hand it over to me um, because I do want to be developing some stuff on it. But also, I mean, I'm, I'm a real sucker for things like this. Like this is such a unique, weird little device. It really, I, mean, I don't know, just the, the size of it, the shape and feel of it, of course, the crank, it's, it's just bizarre in a really wonderful way. Um, and so I do want to be doing more play date content, whether it's, you know, maybe uh, showing off my own demo, my own games, or trying out some other demos, or maybe even just doing some playthroughs of some stuff. But today, we're going all the way down through all these other demos, and we're going to choose Ribbit Rogue. So this is a game that is currently in development. The developer has a YouTube channel and ha does dev vlogs on those. Um, I think they've been going for over a year now, in fact, maybe like a year and a half, and it was something like they were working on it, then they scrapped it all, then they started again from scratch, but they've really been working hard on this thing, and honestly, I really, I, I'm wishing them all the best, because I've really, really enjoyed what I've played so far, I don't want to disappoint anybody <laughs> out there um, that isn't into the same stuff I'm into, but it is a dice-building roguelike like you know it, it's i know it's an oversaturated uh, genre is the deck building roguelike and this is a dice building ro roguelike but something like this on the play date is really unique because this is a tiny little thing that you can take with you everywhere most games on this are you know you're gonna play them for five minutes at a time or it, there are some that are a little bit more deep a little bit deeper a little bit more involved that maybe you do, you know, you'll sink in, uh, into your couch and play for a little bit longer. But a lot of the games on here are like classic arcade games. You know, you're going to play for 30 seconds and try to get a high score. And then you're going to play it again and again. And then you're going to turn it off and you'll come back later, right? Um, there are very few games that you're going to sit down and really dive into. I, uh, Mars by Midnight, the Lucas Pope game. There's a, there's a couple of weird little RPG, like Zelda-like games, I think. I think Resonant Tale or something, a little bit more involved in a story and a, a world to explore. But there aren't many of them. And so this is kind of a mix of that, right? Because what, what a, a deck building or dice building roguelike is is it is a little run. You're usually just going to play one run through the game, right? You're going to try your best. You're going to get as far as you can. You're either going to win after 30 minutes or whatever, or you're going to lose. And then you can try again, or you can come back later. So it still has that, I wouldn't say arcade feel, meaning, you know, there's no, you beat it and then you're just done. That was a nice game. It's usually a game you play many times over, right? Slay the Spire, Monster Train, all these games you keep coming back to. And so having that, on a play date is a really nice, it's a real sweet spot that, that, that currently the system is missing. And I'm hoping that Ribbit Rogue is going to fill that gap for me because honestly, it is wonderful to look at and it's really fun to play. So we have a continue run there. We have some tips and tricks. I had to read through all of this the first time, but essentially it's just telling us about the dice, telling us about how the enemies are going to work, and it's telling us about the maps. 
<clears throat> so we'll go back, but another thing is, we'll start a new run, obviously, but another thing with the Playdate is the very few buttons on it. There's this, which is a lock button. There's the A, the B, there's obviously the crank, but then there's this little button here that you can't see. Um, and that is kind of a menu button. We'll click that right now and you can see it pops up. So we have the volume, the home, the screenshot, that is the play dates. That is that is the system operating system. Above this line here is what they've put into the game. So main menu. Um, oh no, I think actually main menu might might take you back to outside of the operating system as well, back to the list of games. But anything on, underneath that is added by the developer of the game. And so we have manual here. And this was something I you are told somewhere in that dice info. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I totally forgot about it until like halfway through that first run or near the end of that first run. And because of that, we didn't know what a couple of things did and we died. And so then when I played the second time, it made a lot more sense when I went through here. So you can see there's all of these icons that the dice are going to roll, but then it was these things, these abilities that I didn't always understand. We were kind of guessing what they did. For example, this pierce icon, it was on a spear and I thought maybe that goes through shield um immediately but it doesn't it just does double damage against shield combo was a confusing one up here because it was uh it increases the effect by every other combo roll that turn so if you get a bunch of these on all of your dice faces that makes them all better things like that and then there are status effects as well bleed for example usually starts at the end of your, at the beginning of your turn you take some damage x damage but that's what poison does but actually bleed is when you roll and because you get a re-roll in this game you're re-rolling you can actually take extra damage in order you know to re-roll your dice so it pushes you away from re-rolling so it's a very dangerous uh, status effect to have so these are really good this manual here is absolutely wonderful um so let's get out of there and we're going to start the game by choosing a relic. So I'm just going to play on my little tiny device here. And, I'll be, and uh, there is an, a Playdate app called Mirror that just mirrors it to your PC. And then I'm capturing with OBS. Um, but yeah, let's jump in. So choose a relic. I'm going to choose something I haven't chosen before. So start each turn with two shield. I did already beat the game with that one. I think it was maybe a little bit too powerful. I actually did play with a price tag the first time as well. Reduce the cost of shop items by three by five gold. And then this one is gain three extra gold each battle. So this reduces all of the things in the shop by five. I think I'm going to take that instead of the three gold. Maybe there's like six, maybe there's like five before we get to the, to the shop, five fights, which is 15 gold saved. If we buy everything, right? we make 15 extra gold, but this, if we buy three things from the shop, we're also going to make 15. And I don't know. I feel like it's just basically these two are the same, but price tag seems better. So we'll go with that. If there was other ways to spend gold, maybe not, but you can see the map here very very roguelite very classic kind of uh this way that slay the spire kind of built it out so that you have this map and you can go different paths this one's very simple you basically just choose one path for two little events and then you go back to a center fight and then the same again same again and same again until you get to the boss over there um so we're going to jump in. You're going to see some really, I mean, this art is really nice, but you're going to see some very funny art very, very quickly. Um, I think we'll probably start with a snail. You can the, immediately, we, so we started with fighting two things, but you can see that that is a snail that I'm pretty sure the developer made. Um, it's, I think it looks great. I, I don't understand the, the issue with it, but obviously the second thing there is Slifer from Dora the Explorer. A swiper, Not he's not a sky dragon, he's a weasel. Um, and so... The developer said in the in the vlog, like that it's taking too much to do the pixel art, and he doesn't think he's very good at it. He's gonna pay someone to help him out. But honestly, the frog dude, the icons, the snail, they all look great to me. Maybe that snail is stolen from somewhere because it looks really good. But if that is the developer's work, I don't understand why he doesn't do it on his own. Um because I, I, I really like that. I think it's a cool idea that the spikes on the shell like a mohawk. Uh, but yeah, there is, there's Swiper, I think it's Swiper, Swiper, no swiping, I think that's what the Doris says. And then there was a Pumba, and there's a Winnie the Pooh in here as well somewhere, so you'll see them, they're really funny. Um, but it's basically just, it's just an enemy, right? And so, what they're gonna do is you're gonna see at the top, in three turns, that snail is gonna do 13 damage to us. And then this guy, 
this turn, once we've gone, he's going to try and do four damage to us. So what we're going to do is we get to choose four of these seven dice that we have down here. By the way, I don't know if there's a newer version of this demo. I did download it like maybe um, two, three weeks ago before I got my play date. Maybe a bit longer. I hope not. Um, but there might be a slightly newer version. You'll notice that there is no audio in this game and that is one of the biggest letdowns because it looks great and it feels great and it plays great it's like all there the entire foundation of this game is there i hope that the developer realizes you know they have something special here and that they you know i know they're working on it and they they're liking it they're enjoying like they said i saw in one of the vlogs they built something and it wasn't really fun but then they added some extra dice and they added extra relics and then they played through it again and they were really enjoying themselves um, and it's always nice, obviously, to enjoy something you've created yourself to play through it. But I don't know. I think it's I think it's really good. Like you have a f really solid foundation. All of the code is there, right? Like we have the dice selection, we have the dice rolling, we have the using the actions, we have the taking damage, the game over, we have the the victory conditions, we have upgrades. It all works. All you need is just more content, more enemies, more events, more dice, more you know, more actions, things like that. But it's here, the foundation is here. So anyway, I've, I've been talking a lot, but that's because obviously I lost a lot of the content. So let's get in here. I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go for three attacks and one shield, because I think I can take a hit. I'm not too bothered. And then you crank it to roll the dice. And then you can see we've got the rolls up at the top and we can re-roll if we want. We got very lucky. So there's only two fours on this one. So two fours on this one. So I got a third of a chance, third of a chance to get that. Um, and then how many fours here? Oh, there's two fours there as well. So we got the shield that we needed. So what you want to do is you can lock them and then whatever you crank, whatever you un, um, whatever's not locked, you can re-roll. But I think we want to keep all of these. So we're going to select them all and now we can use them. So I want to shield myself for four. And honestly, we're going to go all in on the snail because I need to kill him before he tries to do 13 damage to us. So we're okay. He does... Goes down to two. This guy tries to attack. Fails because we have the shield. Now he's going to try and do five damage. Because we've already done a bunch of damage to the snail, I think this time we do two shield or two armor and two swords. And hopefully we can block five damage. Now you can see here, I'm going to block these three. And then we're going to reroll that kind of miss. But watch this. When I crank this, watch it. Okay. I don't know if you noticed that, but the first time it was really, really confusing to me that they had the locks on them and then the dice that wasn't locked started rolling. Yes, that makes sense. But my one of my main things was please keep the lock icon on the dice until the other dice have finished rolling. Because when they were like, when I'm re-rolling three dice and there's one in the middle, I'm not re-rolling and they're all spinning. I don't know. It's just really hard to see that one of them isn't spinning in place. And it's kind of like... Did it re-roll that dice? I don't know. It was just kind of like a weird illusion that happened. And so the first couple of times I did that, it was really confusing. I didn't think it was working. But um, I think uh, I think just keeping the lock on there. So we got the snail killed. That's really nice. And we got the shield. Um, but yeah, I think just keeping the lock icon on the dice that aren't moving until after the other ones are finished rolling would, would solve that immediately. I don't think that's an issue at all. So we're going to go back to three attacks, one armor. I know we're being a little bit funny here, but look at, look like, like this. Like, yeah, we could re-roll this, but taking one damage isn't so bad. I do want to be able to hit him as much as possible. So we're going to take one HP of damage. And now in two turns, he's going to do seven damage. But you see this wand here will allow us to potentially heal up. And so taking one damage is not so bad. I'm going to keep these three. We will re-roll. Not that we need anything extra, but it's okay. We're going to heal up first, and then we're going to smash this guy into the ground. Very nice. I'm holding it in such a weird way because I'm trying to, like, not cover my microphone up. I'm holding it. Like, it's, it's so weird. I'm playing like this. I've never done this before. You're supposed to obviously hold it like half of a Game Boy. Um, choose a reward. So I really like this hatchet. Before, we've had all of these in our deck before. So this one's nice because you get some shield and some um, some sword, some damage. So it's some defense, some damage. You don't know which you're going to get, which is a little bit awkward. But two of them have the combo icon on, which is nice. This one, four hits of big healing. Really, really good for later on. Right now, 
Maybe not. What we want is this. The reason we want it is because it's big damage, but the two fours at the top, that icon, is like a cleave, which means it hits all of the enemies, and I really like that. Um, I really, really like that. One of the dice games that just came out on Steam recently, I think was Slice and Dice, Slice and Dice. Um, similar kind of thing. It's a dice building game. In fact, it's 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 very, very similar. You don't have the path like this, I don't believe. You're just going through through fight after fight. But it allows you to, you have certain pieces of equipment that they overwrite the faces of some of the dice. So if you equip uh i don't know like like I said, a gauntlet right then it's like oh the it folds the dice out if you can see in fact let me go into here let me go into this next fight i don't know which direction we went because i'm busy talking um but if you if i press b here it shows you the dice and you see how the dice is the net of the cube is laid out well it's the same in slice and dice and so if you equip the gauntlet it might say like the two things on the right so the one with the three sword and then the one with the, you know, the, the nothing through the middle, like the no smoking sign, the no in the middle, like those two might be overwritten with something else, right? With some healing or with something else. So it's obviously really good because sometimes you can replace faces that don't have anything, especially here. So the top and bottom there is in slice and dice, there's something that's like these little poison daggers and it hit, it goes, covers the faces of the top and the bottom. Um, and so that'd be really nice to equip to this dice, right? I'm not saying that this developer should copy those mechanics exactly because they're already similar, you know, in the way that we kind of, in this one, we're just getting dice. In that one, you're building the dice faces as well um, and, and upgrading them. But there's also like a whole class system in that game, for example, and, and all sorts of other more deep mechanics. But this one, it, maybe it's something, maybe you can do something about replacing the faces or improving faces or something like that specifically. Um, obviously it's dice building. This isn't dice building actually. This is just kind of bag building with dice. You're just trying to add more dice and remove dice, but you're not building the dice. You're not changing them all in this game yet. So um, it's more just like dice acquisition. You're trying to get a good group of dice. Anyway, let's do another fight because I'm going to talk all your bloody ears off. So in two turns, that's going to attack. That's going to attack right now. So we want this, 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 and this. We'll crank it up. See if we can get some good damage in here. Is this the hatchet? It is indeed. We're going to crank it. Come on. Oh, we didn't get it. So this is not great because I'm going to do six damage here and I'm going to shield to get no damage from Swiper. Um, but now we need to get 12 damage, which is pretty difficult to do. So we could do a couple of things. We could go all in on defense or we could go all in on attack. Um... Because to get 12, we need this to be a 4, this to be a 4, and this to be a 4, right? We need we need these two to be 4s, and then this one to be a 5, or to be like a 5, a 4, and a 3, which is it's not super likely. So killing that guy right now is probably not an option, but blocking also 14 is even less likely, because there, there are two 4s, two 4s, two 4s. Um, in fact, I think it's impossible, right? 4, 8, 12 is the max we can block. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to block some, but we still need to try and get some damage in. And we're just kind of, we'll take some hits. That's okay. We'll take some hits. We got the five, which is really nice, but we're just going to have to heal ourselves back up afterwards. We'll take like six damage. It's okay. Seven damage total. And now we can do this instead. We can get a little bit of defense from that guy. We do have some healing. That was really unlucky with all the dice down. Oh my god, that I've that is that is incredible. What I mean, what are the chances? Another thing I don't like is you can't look at the dice faces after like you've you know you've used all your rerolls, and I don't understand why. There's no reason for me not to at least see this. I understand that I can't change the outcome now. But I'd like to at least be able to see it. There's still a use case for me being like, wait, what? How many faces of these were like blocked off? Um, and so, yeah, I don't know why that, that would just be like a blocked action. It seems very just nonsensical. Um, I'm going to take another four here. Um, so we only took one, but it's okay. Now that guy's going to do 10, we absolutely have to murder him. And we only have the swords. So we're going to do this. If we take some more damage, that's okay. But we need to kill that the snail we can't take the 10 we got him 
And then we got a seven damage over here as well. And we got the shield up. We're going to take another one from the shield. And now here's a weird thing. I think this game has a, a major flaw. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Look what I'm going to do now. I chose not to do any damage. Right? And so there are no consequences for me not doing anything and healing up. He goes again. Next turn, we roll some dice. I choose three shield and a healing item. And here we go. And now I'm going to heal up again. And so what you're seeing here is I am able to stay in this fight with the last enemy and not take damage and heal back fully. Now, this is something I don't want to do. We don't, I, I'd rather not do that. I just wanted to show off kind of what was happening, what I noticed. I think it is a major, major flaw of the game. Um, we're back at full life now. We shouldn't be probably. We should probably be three health down or something like that. But because I'm able to just stay in the fight forever and the enemy doesn't get stronger, I don't get punished, um, then, you know, there's no downside. There's no downside. And you can do that in pretty much every fight. As long as you keep a weaker enemy alive, maybe, or something that you can always block or most of the time block, it's not that difficult, you know? If, if he's going to do six damage even and we put down three shields and a healing thing... We're gonna we're gonna most of the time heal up, and that's all you need most of the time because you can do that infinitely, and you can do it almost every fight. So that is a major flaw. The way to fix that is maybe make the reward you get less rewards for how long you stay in a fight, and that might already actually happen in the background, but it would be good to show you victory screen, and then how many rounds, and then you know so how much gold you win from that, and then how many rounds, and then how much those rounds cost, and that like you know, removes money from the total that you receive. Or it could be that the enemies get stronger after a couple rounds. You know, they get like in uh, like Slay the Spire or whatever, you get like that plus one and now they're going to do plus one damage forever. And if you stay enough too long, then they're going to, you know, overpower you eventually. Or there is maybe the enemies can, can flee uh, after so many rounds. And if they flee, you don't get any rewards as well. Like you still win the fight, but you don't get any rewards. You don't get to choose a new dice or anything like that. Um, so there is certain ways to fix it, but yeah, currently right now that doesn't, that does seem to be an issue. Um, walking through a dense section, I, I chose to go to an event, walking through a dense section of swamp, you hear a cry off in the distance. As your attention is drawn to the sound, you lose focus and end, if that should say end up falling into a deep pit of mud. No matter how hard you try, you can't seem to get out and you're starting to sink. You need to lose some weight and you have to remove a dice. Now this is not an issue for us. We don't really care about having to lose a dice. I think we'll lose a basic breastplate for now, but that's actually a good thing because then when we get a new dice, um, we're gonna we're gonna be better off. After shedding some weight, you manage to pull yourself out of the muck and continue on your way. If you play much deck building, dice building, whatever, what you'll find out very quickly. So there's an event there, or there's a chest, and I can't remember what the chest. It's so weird to come back and see and hear stuff. Um, oh, it's not... The icons for that are not here. They're not here. They're in... Okay, so maybe that should also be in the manual. That was in the main menu. It was like the tips and tricks of the main menu. But maybe those icons also should be in here somewhere, like the map icons. Because I I, I guess chest just means... I think it means new dice. So we'll go that way, but... But we'll see. Um... Anyway, we'll see. Let's jump in here. There's a little slime. <laughs> One looks less good, let's be honest. 2 and 12, so we can go all in on attacking right now. <clears throat> oh, but what I was going to say is, uh, we'll stick with that. That's good enough. Um, especially because we get to do 4 damage to each. It does 4 and then half damage to other enemies, actually. That's something I've got to remember. Um, so we need to kill him next turn, for sure. Because we don't want to try and block 12 damage. And we still have an extra turn with a snail. So once again, we go all in on attack. But what I was trying to say is the the smaller your pool of cards, the smaller your deck, or the smaller your you know group of dice, the better everything is. That's that's just how deck building and stuff works. You want a really thin deck with just the best stuff, just your combo or whatever. You know what? I think we can go all in on. Let's go all in and just try and kill him right now. Oh, that was. 
that were really lucky. A third of a chance, a third of a chance, a third of a chance, and then I think this is also a third of a chance. I wish I could check. I wish I could check. I don't know why they would remove that, but I think the five is also a third of a chance. So we got like max damage here. That's really funny. Um, but yeah, you want it to be as small as possible. So losing a dice is never really a bad thing. Never, unless you're already so, you know, so down on dice, you've just got your, your kind of combo available and then you've got to lose one of them, then it's going to hurt, of course. So basic one, this is some healing and some attack. It's really nice. This basic cloak, I really like this one because it's, you know, it's, there's more cloaking, but it also has combo. Um, although I feel like I got a better cloak before that had better shield than just two, three, four. Another hatchet would be nice, but I think let's go in for the basic wand. Um, and we can try and get rid of the other wand that we have um, at some point. Because this one just seems oh, way better. All right, 2, 8, 2, 10, I think, right now, all in on attack. If we could kill one before the next turn. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We got the hatchet again. The extra is six damage, you know? It's nothing to, to snort at. Uh, we're going to kill that guy for sure, and then this guy's going to attack us for 10. We don't really like that. We don't have, like, any stun or anything, so I think we're going to go 1, 2. We actually don't have another armor because we did remove one, so we only have the one. We're going to go, like, uh, this, and we're just going to take the hit, really. I think I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to do the four damage here to be efficient. We're going to do three. We're going to do three. We got close, but we're going to take seven damage here, but that's okay because he's going to, we're going to, he's going to give us another turn. And so we were able to now try to heal up. If, if we'd got both ones, it would have been really nice, but we didn't. And we can reroll that again, try and get another heal. Now we got the heal. So we're looking real good right now. I do wish there was some music, just some little bouncy tune, some audio for when you roll the dice. You know, I want to hear the ring and then the, 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 like the real crank. I like the, you know, the actual cranky and then the bouncing of the dice and stuff hitting each other. I don't know. I think it, the sounds, sound effects just add so much to a game. They really do. There's a game on here called Root Bear, which is you're just pouring root beer for bears. And that's it. That's the whole game. And people, Love it. And it is fun. But I honestly think like the sound design in that game is what people love so much. It's crazy. So we've got a couple of new things. So basic spear, double damage to shields. That's really important later on, I feel like. Dual swords. So everything with that icon means it does it twice. So that's actually four damage, four damage, four damage, six damage. It's pretty good. And then this one, it's just, it's way better than a normal sword, basically. This one is two, three shields. And then the other two are swords that do damage based on how much shield you have. And so I really like this one as well. We do need another shield because we removed one. So this is like half the dice is shield and half the dice is damage depending on if we already have some shield. So we can kind of be aggressive and safe at the same time. We'll go down to do this fight and then we'll go up the top route. Now we've got some mosquitoes as well. I love how the mosquitoes have like mouths and then, you know, the noses, they just look so weird um but they're pretty cool looking so they're gonna bleed us which i really don't like i think we'll do this maybe we'll do this what do you have uh we could i think we'll do this we'll try we can heal up a little bit or something oh we don't need to actually so we'll shield up and we'll just go in on this one mosquito here I really don't want much bleed, but what are you going to do? We've got like six bleed. It just means it's going to hurt us, but it's going to do it over like six turns, you know? So let's go. Oh my God. All right. We really don't like this. We want to go here, 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 and here. We want to heal. We want to get, oh, we didn't get some shield. Yeah, this'll do. I was going to say we want the shield that does damage, but no, this'll do. We're going to, if I do, Oh yeah, I've only got one attack. So it's a shame, but it's good enough. This will this will block some damage, but we are gonna take quite a bit here. We're gonna take like 12 damage just from that one attack. So but once we remove one of the mosquitoes, as life is gonna get a lot easier. So we'll do like this. 
And then I think you can possibly heal. So we'll keep these two because we can kill and we can block some damage. And then we can get some big heals off like that. It's just what we wanted to see. Um, we really didn't need the shield, but what are you going to do? Because the bleed goes through the shield. You can see we just got the bleed. So now seven damage if we can't do 13. So we're going to heal, we're going to attack, we're going to attack, and we're going to shield. Um, that's good. That's good. we got some healing. we got some damage. We'll heal up. We'll protect ourselves. So we did four healing and four shield. He's going to do three damage to us, and we healed four, so we just went up one life that turn. But it's okay. That guy's going to try and do 12 damage to us. I really don't appreciate that. I think we're going to go in on some shields here. However, if we get the slam attack, I was going to say, if we get the slam attack with this, we might be able to do some good damage, actually. Because we've got a three shield. If we get a four shield, this could potentially do seven damage. And so I feel like maybe we can reroll that one as well. It's a little risky, but it's, it's more fun. Instead, we're just going to go all out on shielding. So it's, we're going to take five more damage here. But we're all right. We're still all right. Once we take out this little dude, and in fact, right now, we can do some big damage and we can heal. Yeah, we're going to try and heal again. We got the heal. We got the six damage on you. We got the five damage on you. So now you are killable this turn. And you're going to do 11 damage if we don't kill you. So we really want to try and kill you. I think, do we go all in on two bits of healing and two bits of damage? Well, we've got the kill, which is pretty insane. I really didn't expect that. I would like some healing, but it doesn't matter. We got the kill. Um, although we are low on life. That's something to consider. We need to be careful. Oh, choose a relic. Increase max health by three. Three gold up effects by one when under 50% health. I really like that. So all effects by one, that seems pretty insane. Damage, shielding, healing, everything when under percent seems pretty crazy. After making it through some brush, you happen upon a small temple. I went the top way because I want to get, we can get some money, we can skip a few fights. And uh, usually you want to do as many fights as possible to get rewards, but it's okay. I want to see the events. After making it through some small brush, you happen upon a small temple. You go inside and see a small altar to the left and a fountain with sparkling water to the right. So this might be healing i would assume and get like a dice i don't really care for healing too much usually in games like this because i feel like if you need to waste time healing you're not getting stronger and then you just get outpaced by the game but i think we're in an okay position now you know what i'm gonna go for prey i'm gonna go for prey you walk away from the altar feeling refreshed and healthier than ever max health three so yeah that's max health and the other one is maybe healing um, but i think we're okay Want to try and heal up a little bit. Want to try and get rid of a guy really fast. Ooh, and we can heal up here anyway. So 10 health for 20 gold. Remove dice from your pool. We've got a spear. We've got a basic wand. Another wand. Okay. And a basic gauntlet. I think another wand isn't so bad. Because we have the combo icon on them as well. Although this is big healing. But this has more chances to fail as well. I think if we do this... We can remove this one, that we, the basic staff. And then, if I get this, I can't heal. Do I want this? Enemies are going to start shielding up. No, nah, I think we just heal up and we go. I think we're okay. I love that that... I, I didn't mention that shop, but I absolutely love that shop. It's called, like, Herc's Shop, and it's a Hercules beetle. It's a really nice... The whole game is lovely looking. It looks awesome. Besides, you know, we're going to probably see Pumba now. And then, I mean, it's really, really silly looking. There he, was, there he is. There he is. All right. We want some defense. Defense, axe, and sword. So we healed up a little bit. So we don't need to heal up right now. Ooh, you know what? We can, this will do three damage. This couldn't do anything else. So, you know what? Nah, in that case, we'll reroll those two i don't really care for the three damage i'd rather get the shield right now we're gonna go all in on the slime because we can kill it faster even though pumba is obviously the bigger threat we're not going to take any damage here um, and we're going to get slime down to half health now pumba's the issue however it's always going to be better for us to try and take out the slime first however the slime we have an extra turn with so we can do a little bit of shielding 
and do a little bit of shielding. There's no reason not to. We'll take out the slime and we'll start working on Pumba. We'll take four damage, but we're all right. Now we can. Now there's only one guy left. We can focus on a little bit of healing. There we go. And it looks all right to me. Shield up. Cat, he's not going to do anything to us anyway. I don't know why we did that, but maybe we didn't have any more attack dice. But anyway, he's going to try and bleed us. He's going to bleed us more again. So actually, we're totally free to do what we want, really. We want the hatchet instead. You can only choose four dice. That's that's one of the main things. I I, I guess I haven't shown that off, which is really silly because it's like one of the main important things. But you can only choose four dice. That's why... There is that whole thing about cranking and stuff. That's like, hey, I'm ready, crank it, roll the dice, right? These are the four that I've chosen. And because when you have more dice, you can see now, we only have two of these and we have the shield. We have three swords and the hatchet, but we don't have any healing ones. So from our dice pool, these seven random ones are what we've pulled out, right? Um, I don't think there's any way to like see what you've got in your inventory or, or whatever, but that would also be really useful. Anyway, this guy's going to die right now because... We don't have any healing, which is unfortunate, but why not just murder him with a big cleave? Sorry, Pumba. Gold earned. Lovely, lovely. Then, oh, we got a reward from that. Okay. Another basic shield. I like that. I like that because it does kind of combo with the other one. So I think now we can get rid of another piece of armor. We can go up or we can go down to more fights. Are we near the end? Yeah, we're near the end. I think I'm not going to be able to spend this money before we leave. So we'll go to the fights. Um, see if we can get some more dice. All right. Let's do. Let's have some fun with these two. All right. Ah, unfortunate. Really unfortunate. But what are you going to do? We're only going to take two damage there. That guy's going to shield up. And the shield is basically just extra health. Oh, he's going to... Extra health again. That's not good. But we're just going to murder this one over here. Try and heal up a little bit. Ooh, that's not good. That's not even enough to kill him. Now it is. Three, six, nine. Smash your shield for five. And you're going to shield up again. He's going to shield up again. So really we just... We can do whatever we want against this guy. He's just uh, not the smartest. We'll keep that for sure. We'll heal up. This guy's just going to let us heal. He's going to get another 9 damage. We need to outpace the damage. Now he's going to attack us. So now we can easily outpace it. So we'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you. Try and block the 7. Try and end this fight with full life. Wouldn't be so bad. Would like to do some damage this turn. There we go. Lovely. Exactly seven shield. Very nice. He's going to make our attack weaker this turn. So I really dislike this. We're going to go in on shield. And the reason is, is I wanted exactly this to happen. So we're going to keep these two. And we're just going to try and do one big damage with another four shield. Hells yeah. So we're going to put eight shield on us. And then we're going to do eight damage with this thing. There we go. So he's going to make us weaker. So we needed to try and do a big attack. And we're going to try and do the same thing here again we need to do some big damage as you can see we don't quite have it you you would be three damage we do want to re-roll you so we'll keep i mean whatever we don't need the shield anyway this is the best thing we can get from you it's not really is it we could but it is some damage i think we'll keep it we'll re-roll the rest mm, you see pretty bad Pretty bad. Our attack will go up a little bit again. All right, we have two turns now. This is this is our chance to finish him off. So we absolutely need to try and go for a big swing with the shield stuff. So we need you, yeah, to do the slam. So we'll keep you guys and we'll re-roll. Come on, slam, come on, slam. We didn't get the slam. Really unfortunate. Needed that for some big damage. Right, we've got to do 11 damage. But our attack is back to normal now, so... Let's see. Come on. Come on, one slam. One slam. Ugh. Where's my slam dice? There's one here and there's one here. 
We're going to keep these two. Come on. Come on. One slam. Two slams is, is too much, but it'll do, actually. It won't do. We one shot. Unbelievable. We're going to take five damage. Oh, well. Well, we can easily finish him off and heal up this turn. Heal. And we'll just murder him. Hopefully we can get heal a little bit. No. That's the healing dice. Heal up, please. You little git. Well, we got five damage down, but two damage from what we used to have, so it's it's okay. The other the other health is just extra bonus health. Alright. Boomba Oh no. Oh no. Alright, in this case. Let's try and do one big swing, do we? And protect ourselves. So that's we need to keep these two. And we need to go for the slam. Come on, slam, please! This is the problem. I need another reroll. I did get a power that was another reroll in during another game. But this is really, really bad. We can do like 10 shield if we get lucky with the dice that we pick. But it's just not good enough. I needed the damage as well. And now, because he's going to do 11, we pretty much need to do the same thing. We got the slam. This is spot on. Give me another shield. Four shield. Uh, it's eight. But we also didn't get the other attack, so we're going to take some damage here. That's not great. Um, this guy's... This is going to be 18 damage this turn. Oh my god, it's not. It's it's more. It's 25 damage this turn. Heal, heal, shield, shield. We cannot do anything else. Oh, these both went up. That was nice. You know what? We're going to keep this. So we're going to heal 12. Oh, it went down because the combo disappeared. Okay. And we're going to have 7. So it's 18 damage against us. Oof, really bad. We need these guys to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Sit oh my god, they're not calming down at all, are they? Jesus Christ. We need one of them dead, but we can't do that whilst we're defending so tightly. Please, please, please. One? Nah, we're screwed. This is game. Alright. We that was a really bad roll. And that is always what can happen with dice rolling games, of course. We only had the one re-roll. Um, and that's just what happens. That's just what happens, man. The thing is, this is 42 minutes. I really shouldn't do another one, but we'll do one really fast and I won't talk as much. I won't walk you through all of my process. Bad statuses, gain one health when you roll. Uh, sure, why not? That means we need to heal less and we can re-roll. We always want to be re-rolling, right? So we're going to do a quick run through. We'll pick some better stuff uh, and we'll we'll get right in there. Two slifers off the bat. Okay. Attack, attack, attack. Whatever. Come on, four. Getting pretty unlucky, aren't we now? We, we, we got lucky a few times, and now we're getting pretty unlucky. We need to do eight damage. We need these We need these three attacks to come back. I can take eight, but we need to kill one of these guys. I can't just be... I guess I have to. No, I really need to kill one of them. And then we can heal up. One of them needs to die, like, right now. That actually works fine. Another shield would be alright. Oh, no, of course we don't have another shield. So we're going to take five, but we're already working away on this guy, and we can probably try and heal up. In fact, and we, when we reroll, we heal anyway now, so should not be an issue at all. Let's do damage, shield, shield, damage. In fact, let's do... Yeah, yeah, we don't need to. We'll heal, and then we'll choose to keep these three, and we'll roll again. And heal up by one. So we're just healing by rolling. So we want re-rolls now. There is, a, there is another relic that helps you re-roll. And that would actually make us heal like three times per turn. Which is pretty insane to be fair. Alright. So we're going to heal up one. And then that looks pretty nice. So we're still going to re-roll because we want the heal. Even if we don't need to. But when we do like our dice. And we're going to be forced to re-roll to heal. So that's kind of funny as well. Works both ways, you know. All right. We don't need healing. I told you, I do like the hatchet. What does... What is this one? What is that icon? It's like a target. Double the effect on full health target. That's pretty interesting. Eight damage on a thing. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I do like this one because it hits all of them. So it potentially does four to, you know, it does eight as well. Um, but let's try it. 
Let's try the basic bow. I haven't used it and it seems powerful enough. We'll go down here. We want to get more dice. Stop licking your paws. He's gonna he's gonna hurt himself. He's a big gloy. Um Yeah, we'll go like this. One bit of shield. Is this the bow? Did it screw us up? Come on now. Come on now. Give me that you little shit. How dare you defy us in this manner? Unbelievable. Quite unbelievable. Now here's the problem. If we use the bow and we get the combo, who do you attack? Right? This is what I don't like about that. Because we want to not waste it. And we want to hit the snail. But it means we're not going to kill. Or it's the worst dice ever made. And it will never roll a number. That sucks. That's, yeah, one third and one third chance of that happening. It's not It's not likely. Um, it's really not likely. We're going to do this because that guy's got 3 to 13. You are... You are taking the piss. There is no way. There is no way. Thank you. At least it's something. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Uh, we definitely don't need heals. Just give me the attacks. Give me the swords and give me the bow. Lovely. Give me the swords. Give me the bow. Um. Well, he's already at less than full life, so our effect is worthless. So now we've, we're, we're good. This guy, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get four failures. Dude, stop licking your paws. He's hurting his paws. He's causing like um, rashes on his paws because he's licking them too much. Too much, buddy. Too much. I really thought he was going to roll the combo, but obviously it's uh, the, the precision. But obviously he was just going to roll nothing like always. It is the worst dice ever I hate. Guy, please. Ja. 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 He's got to stop doing this. It's really bad for you. Look at him. Look at him over there. He knows what he's done wrong. I can't get my camera off. Vincent. Everybody knows now. Everybody knows you've been bad. Oh, no. We pissed him off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Okay. Let's get back to it. Do we want... Another shield. We, that never worked out for us. I think we'll get another hatchet. Now we've got a hatchet and a bow. They're pretty bad because they have, you know, a third of a chance to fail. I would like to improve them, but maybe an extra reroll would be really nice. I think that was one of the relics. All right, let's see if we can get the bow off finally. Come on, come on. We need it, we need it, we need it. Yes, love to see that. That is fantastic. One of them is dead. In fact, we're going to use the four damage over here because it seems like a waste to use it on this guy. We'll just finish him off now. With the hatchet would be nice. That'd be really cool. We probably should try and get some armor because we are going to get hit by something. The hatchet, actually, we got it as well. Unbelievable. So we'll use the hatchet on this one. He'll take two and die. We use another four. And then we're, we're going to take we're gonna take a bit of damage, but we're going to heal just from rolling. So you know how it is. We, we heal up. Unbelievable. We keep those three. We just roll again. And then we just, uh, goodbye. Could have stayed in that fight and heal, healed up though. That's the issue. The annoying thing is obviously that's the best thing you can do. And so if you give a player the ability to do that to drain all of the fun out of a game in order to optimize it they will do it that is just what we're made to do um i will I'll just go in on damage let's go all in on damage um but yeah they will do it they will optimize it i mean you can't it's not even just because i want to win it's just players like breaking stuff uh you know that's what we like doing and so giving them that option what it means is they're going to suck all of the fun out of the game in order to optimize, but also they're going to suck all of the fun out of the game. They're going to enjoy their experience less. Even though they could choose not to do that, it is the optimal path. And that's what we like. We like opti you know, uh, optimization. And so people will do that until they hate the game. So that needs to be fixed. Making it to a clearing, you must see a forest day to, you, you see, sorry, you see a forest day to trapped sinking in the mud. You grab a nearby branch to help pull them out to safety. Thank you. They thank you and say they can repay you by transforming random dice into one of a higher tier. 
Yeah, why not? Chance of foreign invocation, your basic sword turned into basic bow. So we have two bows now. I was hoping it was a basic sword. But now we have two bows. All right. As you're walking, you look down and see somebody drop their lotto scratch off ticket. Scratch. Ah, well, I didn't really expect to win anyway. And hey, at least it was a free ticket. <laughs> so I guess that can go either way, right? Okie dokie. Ooh, three of them. We don't like three enemies. It's too much. Let's go. Ooh, let's go all in on some damage. Horrendous. Let's go all in on some damage. Love to see it. We're going to kill you because you were going to attack us. We are going to work on you. The other one's going to shield, so that's okay. But you're going to attack right now for eight. Um, and so we're going to try and kill you right now. I think we can make it happen. I think we can make it happen. You little shit. I'm we we're unlucky, man. I am un I'm an unlucky person when it comes to, to rolling dice. Um, and Kim is so lucky at rolling them as well. I've told this story before, but we actually... Uh, we were playing Arkham? Mansions of Madness Arkham Horror? And, um, ooh, I like this. What are you? What are you? You need to reroll. I need the heal. Love it. I'm going to kill you with that. And then you... I'm going to wear you down a little bit. You're going to do a little bit of damage, but we're all right. We're going to heal by re-rolling anyway. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll get a, a lucky healing as well. But we were playing Mansions of Madness, and there's this... Oh, that's really nice. And there's this, like, puzzle that you need to keep going back to. And... Trying like a four code combination and every time you fail, you're going to learn something more about the combination. So eventually you can get it done. Kim guessed the combination. One in, is it nine, 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 nine plus zero, 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 zero. So one in 10,000 chance. Uh, one in 10,000 chance and she got it right on the first guess. And we were so confused. Uh, we were just confused. We were like, I don't understand. Is the game broken? And no, she just guessed the correct code the first time. And it's randomized. It's randomized. So, I don't know, man. She's so lucky with stuff like that. It's really funny. Um, and I am pretty unlucky. I try to play games in a way where I'm trying to reduce the luck that I need. Because even, I have like a commander deck, for example, that's the coin flip deck. And every time I play it, there's just, no, I have no chance. I hit, I can have my entire combo out and I will throw heads when I'm aiming for tails every single time or you know whatever I call it's the opposite and it will just it's insane dude it's insane how unlucky I am with that stuff one effect by one on actions with no ability hmm okay if we want you know what we're just gonna go for iron bars we're gonna go for iron bars because I want to win um and it seems pretty OP so let's just do that quickly We'll rush through these fights a little faster now. Hear some voices shouting off in the distance and go towards to investigate. When you finally make it to the source, you see two lizards in a seemingly heated argument over a game of dice. One of the, uh, one of the lizards notices you and asks you if you would like to join in with a 25 gram wager. I will 100% lose this, but I'm going to bet. You can have a bet on the spotted lizard, who's the underdog, or the striped lizard, who is the favorite. Oh. We're going to bet on the favored one and get less money. The, the one time the striped lizard doesn't win, you lost. <laughs> No matter what I picked, I was going to lose. Trust me. Trust me. It's unbelievable. It's quite unbelievable. Oh, the coins are the shop. Why are the coins the shop? The coins look like you're going to get coin rewards. Look how nice this shop looks. Did the developer make this? Because if he did, then he needs to, he needs to continue because he's got a really cool style. Um, Are we going all in on damage? Do we need this basic cloak? This is... Yeah, we're going to get a bit more shield because we've just got a few attack things. I wouldn't mind removing a dice, but it costs 50. 50? Well, if I would have won that game a chance, we're not going to go to the campfire because I did that in one of the other games and it's just healing and I don't want it. Unless we get the crap kicked out of us right now, I really don't care for it. So let's try and uh, do some big damage here. No, I want to reroll you. I want to try and get the, the special one. We got one of them that was special. 
You know what? Let's no, let's play properly. Let's play properly. Let's 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 focus on the the weak guy first, and um, that we can kill before he does the nine attack. I was thinking like it's so much damage. But let's just use it on Pumba, but no, no. Let's let's play properly. Let's. We want the hatchets and we want the shield. We don't want the bow anymore because it doesn't do anything special. But this is a uh, this is a really nice roll. So I think we're gonna go boom, boom. And we have the two shields starting each time anyway, so we actually are fully uh, protected. And now we can pretty much go in again like this. And we'll be almost protected. I mean, we're healing up anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much. So we're going to take two damage, and we're going to heal that damage just trying to attack him back. So there's, there's no issue here at all. Um... He's going to try and attack us again, so let's do one little thing, and then three attacks. And we're going to keep all of that. That's insane. And he's dead. And we're almost at full life. First turn of the next room, we're at full life. So we are at full life, because we go first. So, no issue. Boomerang? I've never seen... What?! Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. What is that? Looks like the other icon. It looks like the cleave icon. Cleave? It is! It is the cleave. That is nuts! It's the same, but way better. It's the same as the axe, but even better. Okay, well, we gotta take that. We gotta take that. We're going up top, because we're speedrunning. You are approached by a disheveled-looking beaver. Disheveled, should I say. Disheveled. He's not on a shelf. He's been de-shelved. Um, they say their home was washed away in a flood and are looking for some investments to rebuild. Offer 25 gold. That's all we have. He thanks you with a fancy sword dice. I've got too many dice, all right? Too many dice, not enough dice removal. That's what I was hoping to find. We don't have the money because we just gave it to a freaking beaver. Um, what the hell? Hatchet. Oh, it's a hatchet and an axe. I want the potion. We need some some form of protection. I wanted the axe for sure, but we, we, we've got too many dice that are attack focused. We need to balance it a little bit or we're going to find ourselves in a world of hurt. I told you Winnie the Pooh was here. I told you Winnie the Pooh was in this game and you didn't believe me because you, you thought I was a psychopath, obviously. Why would you not? It's freaking Winnie the Pooh for Christ's sake. So... That's going to be 8 damage. That's unlucky. So we've got 12 damage here. I think we go in on the Mosquito. Um, obviously, Winnie the Pooh is going to try and swing for 13. We're just going to have to let that happen. But as long as we can kill this Mosquito, you know, we're looking good. We don't need to worry about him anymore. But let's do a little bit of shielding and a little bit... Not healing, not right now. We need to do protection. We don't need the healing yet. Um... Yeah, we want you. We want you. We want you. That's unfortunate. We are going to kill you. In fact, we can do it here. So that special dice there means... Um, that special icon, the like the void icon I was calling it, means... I think it was called void. Means you can only use one of those per round because they're really strong faces of the dice. So we're going to go like this. I need four damage at least. We got the four damage, so we're going to save it. And then we'll go like this. Kill you. Do a bit of damage over here. Protect ourselves just a smidge. Weren't we supposed to be like two shield per turn? Why do we only have three? That was weird. Um, oh, because the bleed? Does the bleed take the shield off first? That's pretty cool. Um, let's try to... Just do some damage. He's not going to hit us this turn. We get the reroll anyway, so we get another heal off. Although it does remove our shield, but it doesn't matter this turn. We're going to swing for the fences. And this guy's dead, and we're going to be fully healed. <laughs> so, yeah, the healing each turn and the shield is kind of OP. And we have both of them. So, <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good start. And we've got four chances to do some damage. We're obviously looking good, but we want to heal fully because we're just greedy. And now you're dead. Sorry, Winnie. Pooh Bear. 
Well, he is in the public domain now, so... Although you aren't allowed to have the red thing, because that's a Disney. You know, I, th I think that's... It's not a Disney thing, but that exact style of Winnie the Pooh, the exact style of the jumper, and obviously this is a copy. But you could put Winnie the Pooh in the game now. Um, What the heck is that arrow? What is that arrow? Doubles the effect of the next dice action. That's interesting. That's pretty interesting. I quite like that. Fancy breastplate. That's a, just a really good defense. Okay. So this is actually great. And this is actually fun. Fun always wins. Basic ring. Basic ring. Um. Yeah, we're going to go top. All right. Two boys to kill. This is what we died on last time, if you remember. Pretty much this. It wasn't Winnie the Pooh. It was a snail, I think. But it's it's a similar thing. What's this thing? Ooh, it's big attacks. I think we're going for like this and then this. Probably shouldn't, actually. We're going to go all in. We're going all in on attack. I need to kill something this turn. 100%. So, you need to go first. We can do, we're going to keep all of this. We can do 8, 16, 25 damage. Unfortunately, that's not enough to kill Pooh, but it's definitely enough to kill one of these guys. Um, if I do it like this, I actually get to kill him more efficiently. Yeah. So we're going to take some damage. But we removed a guy and we put ourselves in a really great position because now we can heal up a little bit. What is this one again? Oh, I've got to use that. Yeah. Um, we put ourselves in a really great position because we can just kind of heal up and do our own thing. Double it. Double the healing. <laughs> Murder and attack. Absolutely busted. Game is easy. <laughs> Game's too easy. Right, 13 defense. I think we want defense. We want to try and double that defense. You are 4 4 five, 5 You are a lot more than that. So we're going to do you and we're going to do this. We got it again. Quite unbelievable. We could just defend from this attack completely. Or we could do 10 damage. Block 7. We already have 2, so we're blocking 9. I think that's what we do. We go like this and we do the 10 damage and we block nine he's gonna do four and we're just gonna heal it back up <laughs> who cares right he's gonna try and shield for 10 we don't want to let him do that we're gonna we're gonna swing we need to swing big here we've done it but we want the reroll for the heal and we're looking good all right. Once again, we're kind of at full health, technically, because we are going to roll the dice probably twice before the next swing. And so it's uh, looking looking pretty, pretty juicy. All right. We need some shield stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to take another potion because I do remember the fight being not hard, but I need to be able to keep my life total up, especially early on when there's like three dudes all attacking us because it is the Slime King versus some frog. I like that he's called some frog. I'm sure that's like, um, what do you call it? Like holder text, placeholder text. But I think you should just keep it as some frog. It should just, the game should just be called some frog. It's really funny. Um, yeah, we need to kill the obviously the two guys first. We're gonna go all in on swinging. Not good. I would really have liked to have killed one this turn. Can we? I've got nine. Got 15. Got 15. And he's going to make me weaker. That's a real, real problem. That is a, a massive problem, to be honest. And they're all going to attack again. Wow, that's that's just... That's so unlucky. Honestly. And we only got one healing. We need... We absolutely need... Uh, we need some help here. We need some good dice rolls. Come on. Come on, please. That'll do. That'll actually do. I'm going to heal. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use the 5 on you. I'm going to use the 2 over here. And I'm going to shield up. 
We're okay. We're going to take nine, which is kind of seven if you take into account our healing. Now he's going to try and make us weaker. I want to murder him before he can do that. I would very much like to heal, but him making us weaker is going to really, really damage us. I don't think we can do 14 damage. We can't. Damn it. Ah, I need to do 4 damage and protect myself from 13. Okay. Okay, we absolutely need to kill that guy or we lose, I think. We're going to try and do this, this, this. We're going to go for 2 bits of healing. We already have the 2 protection, so we're okay a little bit. We killed him. That's all at Mars. We're going to take a lot of damage. However, he's going to make our healing weaker. But that means in this turn, he can't stop us. This is good damage. Yeah, yeah. Right. We want the doubling up. Hells, yeah. You think we care that you're going to make us healing weak? We're going to be like full health, guy. Make it as weak as you want. You've got none of your friends with you. Got no backup. We've got two turns to just beat the absolute crap all out of you. And, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for you, pal. It's not looking good for you. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 12 damage. Can we do 12 damage this turn? Probably. And even if we can, who cares? It's 15 damage, and we've got lots of healing and stuff, so... Let's just go all in on damage and see if we can make it happen. Wow. All right, Slime King. I see. King of Luck. You survived this turn, nerd. But not much longer. Not much longer. He's going to do exactly nine damage, but we have two shield. And I'm going to heal up just for fun. Just to show him that we can. Uh -uh. Boom, and then we still had 10 extra damage. Go home. Go home and be a family man. All right, that was Ribbit Rogue. I I love this. I think it's really good. As, as a demo, I think I would give it a four out of five. And I really think a lot of that is because of the missing audio. I think even with some very basic, you know, um, what do you call it, like open licensed music, very simple open licensed sounds for the dice, for selection, just for moving your arrow across. It doesn't just help immerse you or, you know, just kind of the sound design just kind of feels good, but also it helps you understand information. When you press a button and you don't hear any feedback and there's no vibration, obviously, in this device, it just kind of is weird in this day and age. You expect to, there to be something, some feedback. And uh, not having that is is just weird. It's odd. It just feels wrong. And so I think I really would have liked some audio, but I love this. I cannot wait for this to be released on the play date. And the thing is, there are some games on the play date that are one dollars, two dollars, right? This is this is a this is a ten dollar plus game, right? Because it's gonna have hopefully way more enemies, different locations with different boss fights at the end. It's gonna have all of these dice, and I don't know. I just of course I'm a big deck builder, dice builder, roguelike fan. I know that. I'm a fanboy. But I, I need this on the play day. This is this is going to be what keeps me coming back. This is the game that I'm going to pull out and play when I'm in an Uber or on the train. You know, this is the one for me. Like, yeah, you can jump into Root Bear, pour some Root Beer. You can jump into Bloom and water your plants. You can do some stuff on the play day. But this is the one that's like... I lose myself. I know this tiny little screen with no backlight that sometimes you can barely see. This is the game that you forget all of that and you're playing. You know, I'm in there. I haven't played Mars by Midnight yet. I've got it. I haven't played it. I know there are some more immersive games, but this one, uh, it's just really... <sighs> There's a lot of... What's the word I'm trying to look for? Potential, I guess. I guess potential works. There's a lot of potential here. And I I, I think it's already, uh, you know, a, a lot of the way there. Most of the, the functionality is already here. Just needs some more design, some more tweaks. Obviously, it needs the art. It needs the music and stuff. But the functionality is there. And it works. And you know what? You see how fast this game loaded? 
Like, it's it's really well made as well. Watch this. And the play date's slow. Let me tell you, play date's slow. That's it. Let's start a new run. Let's start a new run. Choose a relic. Whatever. We're in. It's loaded up. It's doing the little animation at the beginning. Seconds. Seconds, we're in a fight. You know, there are games on this device where you have to wait like up to a minute for the first part of it to load, for the game to load. Yes, then afterwards there's not many loading screens because it does all the loading up front. But this is well made. It's a well optimized game. It looks great. It feels great. It has all of, it has everything. I'm really, really excited for it. Let me stop uh, gushing. This is Ribbit Rogue. Uh, good luck uh, to the developer. I'm really looking forward to this one coming out. Very fun. I got to do a demo uh, from on the play date, but I'm sure more will come in the future. Uh, but yeah, just a nifty little device that I've been really enjoying my time with lately. Just keep it in my pocket, walking out, if I go to the park with, with Vincent or whatever, uh, just pull it out, play a few little rounds as he, as he runs around. It's just nice, just nice. You know, pulling out your phone and doing all of these mobile games that want advertisements and things, they're never, they're just not games anymore, right? These, I don't know, this, this little thing just really throws me back. The things on here are like flash games, you know? They feel just really silly little things sometimes, just high score chasers. Uh, and, and then a couple of gems like this one, like Ribbit Rogue. But I don't know, man. A lot of these games, like Recommendation Dog, I'm done with it. I played it. It was fun for the story, but the endless mode is too boring. It's too, you know, there's not enough long term. But that first 20 minutes were really fun. But that's it. This is a game that I would give to somebody when they haven't played it played it before. Like, hey, try it out. You know, play this. You know, a lot of them are... are like we've got puzzle games and stuff. A lot of them are like, not just demos, I don't want to say, but basically very small pieces of functionality. You jump in, you you play this, and then you're done. Um, and so, yeah, having something a little bit deeper is is really nice. Something you can keep coming back to. I've said what I've said. I've said it a hundred times. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.